A charity in Zhanghua posts a challenge to 40 children it holds classes for, earn enough travel funds, and get a free trip to a Pingdong Aquarium. The children responded by devoting themselves to crafting handmade coasters and beaded curtains. They achieved their goal of visiting the aquarium and, in the process, learned an important life lesson. Our Sunday in-depth report. You can see us put these bamboo sticks on the bottom and the paper on top. Then the first step is to roll it firmly and tightly. The right hand holds a bamboo stick with the left hand controlling the direction of the paper. It is slowly rolled and a paper bead is made. This class is held every Saturday. After each bead is completed, it is added to a string of others to make bead curtains and coasters, which are then painted and sold to raise money. The original intent of this course was not to earn money, but to teach a skill. The children come to our family support center because they are poor. When we subsidized family in the past, children knew the price, but not the value. So we had them make these beaded curtains. Each bead is half an NT dollar, and it makes them appreciate hard work and the difficulties their parents face. To produce the perfect bead, one has to have good eyesight to ensure proper distance. The right touch is also needed. Sore fingers and tired eyes are common problems. The work is also repetitive, so one needs to be patient and fight through exhaustion. Sometimes children can be emotional and not suited for this work. During this work, teacher Huang and I talked and we had tears in our eyes, but we later continued. Each of these 40 children shares a common goal of wanting to visit the National Museum of Marine Biology and Aquarium in Pingdong on an overnight trip. I think that making these bead curtains is a lot of fun and worthwhile. We can visit the museum and aquarium. One volunteer mother wanted to donate money to help these children reach their dream of going to the aquarium, but the center politely refused. It believes rewards should be accompanied by hard work. There's no meaning in only relying on others for the necessities in life. The children won't beg for what they need, but orders are not enough to send all 40 from Zhanghua to Taidong on the aquarium trip. So the students had another plan for when class is over. <laughs> Bao Hong has a rough, straightforward appearance. He's the oldest member of the class and leads younger ones in gathering recyclables to raise money for their trip. <laughs> <laughs> 